Okay, let's talk about the parasympathetic nervous system and give an overview. And our objectives are to apply the two neuron autonomic nervous system model to parasympathetics. And we'll identify the origin of preganglionic and postganglionic parasympathetic pathways. Okay, so parasympathetic nervous system. There's a two neuron ANS model. Well, we have a CNS origin, we have a peripheral autonomic ganglion, and so the preganglionic neuron is going to rise in the CNS, send its axon out to synapse in the peripheral autonomic ganglion, which we call the postganglionic because it's after the synapse or after this ganglion, and then the axon goes out and tar hits the target organ. All right, it'll take this model, have it applied to the parasympathetics. So, the CNS origin for parasympathetics is the brainstem and S234 spinal cord levels. The autonomic ganglion component is the cranial nerve ganglia and the intramural ganglia. And so, there we've got this whole model uh, laid out. Now, we're going to do the let's do it again model. Uh, however, not as much detail as we did in sympathetics because a lot of that detail is best done individually when we hit um, other tissues and organs throughout this course. And so there we're going to add like that central nervous system and there's our brain stem and there's the S234 spinal cord level. So let's gray out the rest of the area and then put an intramural ganglion in a target organ. And so if we take a look at the brain stem level, it's there and the sacral cord level, it's down there. And so if we take that origin, you can take a cell body in the medulla, say the vagus nerve and send out a preganglionic neuron, will synapse in a cranial nerve or intramural ganglion and then that postganglionic neuron goes to some target organ like your salivary glands or your heart. And then we also take a look at some other cranial nerves. Cranial nerves 3, 7, 9, as well as 10 are all going to be giving parasympathetic innervation. And then we also have down in the sacral region where we have preganglionic parasympathetic neurons that arise in the, would be the lateral horn. They exit out the ventral root, ventral ramus into these pelvic splanchnic nerves and hit their target organs. And so some take-home points. One, parasympathetic innervation of the eye, salivary glands, your heart, bronchial tree, foregut, and midgut arises from the brainstem. And so parasympathetic innervation of the brainstem are as follows. Cranial nerve 3, cranial nerve 7, cranial nerve 9, and cranial nerve 10! Big, big on cranial nerve 10. That's the vagus nerve, okay? That vagus nerve is the one that's primarily going to do, not primarily, it does, heart lungs, the bronchial tree, foregut, midgut, and the associated organs like liver, pancreas, and so forth. Innervation of the eye and some salivary glands, that's cranial nerves 3, 7, and 9, and we'll cover those in great detail in cranial nerves. Now, the parasympath parasympathetic innervation of the hindgut, uh, transverse descending sigmoid colon and rectum, pelvic organs, think uterus and bladder, and perineum, such as the penis and clitoris, that parasympathetic innervation, they arise from the S234 levels of the spinal cord. So the parasympath parasympathetic innervation, uh, in a nutshell, we've got preganglionic neurons that synapse with postganglionic neurons. And the preganglionic neurons arise from the brainstem and sacral spinal cord, and the postganglionic from cranial nerve ganglia and intramural ganglia, and the synapses innate with the target organ. So if we now take a look at that uh, CNS, there's the brainstem, and there's the sacral cord. And so there we have parasympathetic innervation in a nutshell.